So now that I have an IP address from this machine, I can actually just access it from the command line uh, of my machine, and I don't have to use this uh, virtual machine window. So to exit out of here, you can see down on the bottom right here, I can use the left command key, and that will actually get me out of the window so I can go back and use my, uh, use my Mac computer. And on Windows, that's a little bit different, but it's uh, the same thing where it shows you what that key is. So you can just hit that key, and it's going to get you out of there. So on Windows, we're going to use the PuTTY tool to SSH into our virtual machine. So if you go to your uh, web browser and search for PuTTY or go to the course resources, I'll provide a link in there as well. And once you do that, you'll go to a, the page that looks like this, and this is the download page here. And what you want to do is just scroll down uh, a little bit, and you'll see there's a, a download link for putty.exe. And that's the tool that you want to download. So go ahead and click on the link for putty.exe, which will download that uh, application. So once it's downloaded, uh, you want to go into your file explorer. And uh, my download is going into the, the default downloads folder. Um, we want to allow that download to get downloaded. Uh, it is a safe tool to use. Uh, so if you have an uh, antivirus or anything that tries to block it. Uh, I'm going to drag and, and drop the actual application over to my desktop so that it's easy for me to access. Uh, that way when I need it, it it's right there um, and I can just double click on it to open it up. So um, I'm going to open up the program, I'm going to run it, and when I do that it's going to ask me for a couple of things that I need to enter in order to access my virtual machine. The first is the host or the IP address, and the IP address of the machine that I'm working on is 192.168.110.212. Uh, the default port of 22 is exactly what I want to use. That We haven't changed that on my virtual machine, and so I'm going to um, leave everything else as default. Um, but one thing I do want to do is actually save this session. So I'm going to type in um, asterisk in here, and, and this is going to give me the ability to save my uh, server settings so that, that way when I come back I can just double click on it and open it up without having to retype everything. So the first time I try to log in, it's going to ask me about a fingerprint. Uh, you want to go ahead and click yes. Uh, and then it's going to ask you what you want to log in as. And this is going to be your root username. And the default username is root. Uh, that's your administrator uh, username on a Linux machine. Uh, so use ROOT. And then just enter in your password uh, that you set. I used uh, asterisk. And now I'm logged into the machine just like I was working off of that virtual terminal that we were in before. So I can do an IF config and get the IP address, and uh, it's as if I'm still using that, that other window. But this is a lot easier to copy and paste uh, information into, and, and that's why I use this. And with PuTTY, uh, the way you do pasting is um, if you copy something to your clipboard, uh, you'll actually just right-click into the PuTTY window, and it'll paste everything in there. So you don't actually have to... Uh, you can't use control V or do anything like that. You just right click into the window. All right, so go ahead and proceed to the next video.